Hi, my name is Aldi Simone. I'm an orthopedic surgeon practicing sports medicine in South Florida for over 24 years. Today we're going to talk about ACL injuries. They're devastating injuries seen in a young athlete. Usually the athlete will prescribe a twisting and a pivoting injury. They'll often hear a loud pop, they'll have pain and not be able to ambulate. Clinical examination is key right away. We usually look at the knee for swelling, for concomitant ligamentous injury, and I like to get x-rays to rule out fractures. The eventual plan is to get an MRI to take a look at that injury, to get a better look at the ACL, and also to look at concomitant injuries of the knee, including ligaments, cartilage, and meniscus. My treatment plan is to get them into a regimen of prehab. That includes range of motion, icing, elevation, and I think therapy prior to doing any reconstructive procedure has been known to help the post-operative course. Usually I think of doing surgery within the first two to four weeks. If they have a concomitant injury to the meniscus or to a ligament, we like to do surgery a little bit earlier and sooner just because it's easier to fix. Surgery usually takes about an hour and a half. We do it in an outpatient setting and we usually initiate therapy within the first three to five days. My approach is an anatomic ACL reconstruction. I like to use a patient's own tissue. Uh, my tissue of choice, the gold standard for ACL reconstruction is bone patella tendon bone, and I think it has the best outcome with the lowest incidence of re-injury and the quickest return to sports. Usually my post-operative uh, physical therapy program consists of icing, therapy, eventual biking, and probably slow running or jogging within the four to five months. Sports-specific activities usually occur within seven to eight months and a return to play at about nine months. For any additional information regarding ACL injuries, come visit my website at dralvisimone.com. Thank you so much for your time.